Hello everyone and welcome back to my stock career in Kerbal Space Program 1.11. In this video I plan to take care of some Ike missions all packaged into the same launch. But first we do have a choice of sciences to unlock given that we have a thousand uh, data points, science points. And we could get the advanced motors and actually we've got a contract for a base on wheels basically. But I've, I've already got that mocked up. Um, Maybe it's not such a good idea the way I've done it, but I've used the other wheels basically. So I don't know, maybe these will be better, but I think we're just gonna go with the wheels that we've got. Since we have a thousand science, we might as well unlock one of the thousand science techs. And I think I'm going to go with, let's just go with RTGs. I don't actually know if RTGs are useful at all. They're very expensive, but yeah, we have unlocked it, so it's okay. Let us proceed. Uh, send an engineer to attach parts to a rover. Uh, attach a new part. So what, what we've actually got right now is plant a flag on Ike. We've got a satellite in equatorial orbit of Ike. Position a satellite in a specific order of orbit of Duna. And build a new surface outpost on Ike. So this is, this contract is the one that has the main requirements that we have to worry about. Uh, so antenna docking port generate power, support at least eight Kerbals, uh, mobile processing lab, ISR unit. Uh, three scientists have to be sent along, motorized wheels, and we have to land on Ike. So that's a lot. That's a lot of stuff. And what we are contemplating now is these additional contracts. Do we want uh, repair a satellite is interesting. Finishing construction, we've done that before. But then I'd have to send three scientists and an engineer, which is inconvenient. But pays well. Um, the units of ore from Duna, nothing that we are doing requires us to land on Duna. So I'm not too sure I want to go there right now. Uh, if there was 1,950 units of ore from Ike, that would be much easier since we we're already sending an ISR unit and I've got drills on. So uh, I, um, I don't want to, I mean, we, we will be sending an engineer, but an RCS fuel tank on a spacecraft to the target satellite. Oh, let's just see what happens with that. And with the Ike Rover, we'll send an engineer. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. Uh, we will pass on this Duna one because I don't think we're going to want to rendezvous the engineer with this particular vessel. My Ike mobile base looks like this. And here's the center of mass. And I'm hoping that the little sparks oh sorry twitches are going to be good enough for this situation we were required to have a docking port isr unit uh mobile processing lab and i've got drills and the ore tanks because why not if we're gonna bring the isru unit and of course that also entails fuel cells got some battery radiators yeah as you can see, there's 1,064 meters per second, actually 1,122 in vacuum. And on Ike, this says it produces 2.22 thrust weight ratio. Pretty long burn time though, so we have to keep that in mind. Yeah. But we have all the things, two Kerbals there, uh, two Kerbals there, and then two each in the Mark 1 crew cabins. So that's how we've got, I didn't want it to be too much longer than this since it is a rover in theory so this is already pretty long i'm now uh, we also have a octo control unit uh, sort of behind the dish back here i'm going to without any crew test it out just how it drives on the runway i don't know in career mode if i'm allowed to hack grav to check the twitch engines i think we'll just run with those and see what happens yeah we're not required to move it from place to place yet but maybe in a future contract you might want that obviously not a whole lot of clearance ground clearance so that's problematic if we get some serious slopes 
Okay, recover vessel. Okay, so the launcher we have here is one with a wolfhound. Why not? Uh, the whole mo base is up there, but then we have the satellites, which are as simple as I could make them. Just little solar panels. We've got reaction wheels. We've got the octos, and we've got Commutron 88-8. So not relays. One of them required a magnetometer, so we've got a magnetometer there. And actually the ant engine is just slightly offset to compensate for that. The other one didn't require anything special. Uh, so this one, this Ike one, just wants an antenna and can generate power, so that'll be good enough. And the fact that we have to finish construction of a rover, we have to land there, and I have to remember to do that. So we do have to pack the equipment for the rover and we have to figure out what we're missing on the rover usually it's a controller uh, we have plenty of space do we have a available engineer that's important yeah we've got one. Oh no sorry two flong and ship gun it looks like it's ship guns turn given the lack of points so and we do have four scientists available so that'll be fine and since we've got controllers on the vehicle that should be okay we don't have to worry about that the launcher is simple we've got the wolfhound up there for the transfer and the capture and then we have main sails plus pollux boosters and that is what we're running on but yeah let's take a look at the rover and see exactly what we need to pack to repair it and there's the satellite we need this RCS fuel tank well you know what before I forget let me pack the RCS fuel tank. Might as well pack some repair kits too. Well, it fits in the mobile processing lab. I don't know if that's a good place to put it, but... Okay. I don't know if a Kerbal can carry it, but I guess we can sort of nudge it around. Unfinished Ike Searcher. Well, yeah, it's the same kind of rover that we always get, it seems. They could have switched things up a bit, but yeah, it's just lacking a control unit. Sky Antenna. It's got liquid fuel and oxidizer for the fuel cells, so it can generate power like that. It doesn't have any other power. But yeah, same sort of rover as usual. Okay, well, I'll toss an Octo-2 up here. And now, well, we have to risk three scientists and an engineer. That's a lot. That's a lot of curvilage. We'll just go with the least experienced ones. Okay. So, Phil, Cell, Shep, Gun, Luton, and Balney. Well, as sort of expected, it's uh, upside down because the cabin is at the bottom there. Uh, let's just reverse the direction on the cabin. Okay, we are reversed. Hopefully that does not cause any unforeseen problems. We can time warp to morning. Okay, SAS on, throttle is up, and launch. This is very much not recoverable. I'm intending to go a little bit steep before turning more. We clearly don't have fins, it's a big fairing, we have to watch out. Well, definitely steeper than we needed to be. Probably we had too much Delta V as well. I overdid it as usual. Okay, booster set. Alright, alright. Fairing set. I thought I had clamshell fairing deploy. Well, it is in two halves, I guess, but not quite what I wanted. So, checklist for big things. Magnetometer. I mean, it's un not uncrewed, so it's not checking that off. Aging Ike something something other spacecraft. Okay. Um, outpost must be on motorized wheels. It apparently does not like these... It doesn't think that these are motorized wheels. Either that, or it's because it's not landed. Hmm. 
these are motorized, right? I mean, motor. Wheels. Hmm. I don't know whether it's because they, it needs to be landed or not. Maybe. Otherwise, we have everything. Yeah, we can just transfer with this mainsail stage. Well, I guess we might as well. Or, well, I don't know, partly transfer. That's a little bit more troubling. Because then this ends up stuck in high orbit. Maybe we should just deorbit it and just go with the Wolfhound. 900 meters per second is annoying, though. That's sad to dump. Uh, it's tough to decide. 864. It'll be stuck in a really high orbit. Well, it depends on where our transfer point is. Let's see where our transfer point is. It's possible that it could be in a high orbit with a 20 kilometer periapsis, in which case it will deorbit. So... No, our ejection point will be on, at the periapsis side. It was, if it was on the apoapsis side, then that still wouldn't be any good, would it? <laughs> no, I mean, either way, it can't happen. Okay. I think we should just let it go. Yep, it's getting deorbited. We have 2,555 here. Okay, that looks like a good transfer. And we'll plop off the Duna satellite and then transfer over to Ike. Shouldn't be too hard, right? Certainly we want to go in the same direction as Ike. Uh, the satellite up there probably uh, seems to have to go into a retrograde orbit. That <laughs> might be troublesome. Uh, we'll see. Okay, getting ready for the burn. We are pretty close to the atmosphere. We'll have to watch that. Go. Oh, wait. Maybe we can get closer with just burning this way a little bit more. Ah, we've got an encounter. Okay, we'll do the mid-course adjustment. You might want to separate that little probe ahead of time so they can do a separate capture burn and they can capture on the opposite side so it doesn't have to flip around I think that'll be for the best so we'll pay attention to it once we get into the SOI but anyway first of all we have to get to our mid course adjustment and do a tiny line tiny little 0.6 meter per second burn so with that let's go all right so the capture burn is about 450, not bad, but yeah, we'll pay attention to it when once it gets into the SOI and separate off the one satellite that has to go the other way around. Okay, we are in Duna SOI, there is Duna, and it is time to uh, let go of the satellite that has the magnetometer and needs to get into a retrograde orbit around Duna, so antenna can generate power. All right, so well, let's make sure extend antenna. Uh, I hope the antenna, I don't think the antenna that part has a collider on it, so I think we'll be all right. <laughs> uh, great. All right, uh, decouple. All right, is it still okay? Yeah, it is still okay. Oh, electric charge is only five units. <laughs> That's not super, is it? I forgot to put a battery. Well, we won't be able to transmit much data, will we? We better hope that the reaction wheel doesn't take too much in. We're not ever pointed away from the sun. But okay, this thing needs to make a correction now. So that's going in, the, uh, in that direction. So... Okay, that looks like it's got more of a tangency to the target orbit. That'll be closer. So we're going around the right way, and eventually, hopefully, we'll get into the target orbit. So 
I'm going to do, I'm just going to do this burn right now. Whoa, this is nimble with that reaction wheel. Uh, uh, uh. I need to tone that down a little bit. Burn. Okay, well, that looks like a good enough match. And we have 1,491 meters per second with this little satellite to help us get into that target orbit. All right, well, so this maneuver is in 12 hours and 20 minutes. It's probably going to be really close to the maneuver with our main mission, though. So that's... That's dicey. And we might as well be in an inclined state to hit that target, though. You know what? It's a pretty equatorial target. Eh, it's too touchy. Let me do it after we do the main burn. Okay, so this is 12 hours and 16 minutes. We'll try this one first. This is more important after all. So our fellow probe is over there on the opposite side of Duna. Okay, and go. Oh, wiggling a bit. I guess we're a little bit imbalanced because we've got this other probe on one side. Okay, are we going to get something with Ike here? Well, there's something. Ah, lost it. Yeah, it's flickering. Okay, let's do a mid-course adjustment, but I won't plot it right now. We want to go to the probe. All right, we are just in time for the probe's burn, and we still have communication even. Not a lot of electric charge, though. Nighttime side around Duna's going to be, and we're almost there. Oh boy. Make sure the probe is on the hibernate in warp auto. Oh, actually, uh, wrong way around. I think the sun is rising because we're going retrograde. Okay, we have captured. And let's try and get into target situation. Sending notice not too far off from our apoapsis. Okay, but it is off. <laughs> That's going to complicate matters. Let's try and make a maneuver there, which is closer to the crossover point. Definitely take some more fine tuning. All right, but that's a start, and I think Delta V wise we'll be okay. All right, back to uh, so that maneuver is going to be in 19 hours back to the Ike mobile base. I think we can do everything with the mobile base before we have to do anything with the little probe. Okay, so now the mid-course adjustment that we wanted to do. Unfortunately, the orbit is still flickering. Uh, I think we can just let the probe handle it. That is too annoying. I can't even tell what orbit we're going to end up in. Oh, great. Now it's not even showing me that we encounter. But anyway, we do encounter Ike. But trying to plot any sort of correction is just impossible right now. It's not showing me the orbit consistently. Oh, I guess it's more than one orbit away. That probably explains it. Okay, now we can see it. There's also that other satellite in orbit that we have to service. But I don't see where that is. Is it some other, is it like debris or something? Oh, it is debris. All right. So, okay, which way is it going? Ah, uh, it's going the other way. All right, well, so then we have to switch directions because the engineer has to get there. We can't, we have to prioritize matching its orbit. Okay, well, that's a pretty hefty correction suddenly. Well, I'll be thankful for the stock curb alarm clock once we get to 1.12 and I'm waiting for visual mods to upgrade of course. As far as other mods are concerned I'll think about that later after we finish the tech tree but not sure about that. 
we'll see. Eh, that's probably gonna be alright. Okay, so two hours there. And there's a little probe now. It's got its maneuver in nine hours, so we're still we still have time here, so let's just do this maneuver. Entering Ike SOI. Okay, well, we're past periapsis. I think I plotted this particular burn on the wrong side of Ike, but it'll be fine. We have captured. Okay, that will flatten our orbit, and we should just proceed with that right now. Okay. Alright, then we need to phase with it. And that will get us an intersect so that we can attach that one part. But before we do that, we'll probably let go of the little satellite. Let's see, that little probe is still six hours away from its thing. We're one hour away from this maneuver. But before we get there, we're going to let go of the other probe. So same deal, extend antenna, decouple, switch, only five electric charge again. Let's make sure that the core is on auto. And we need to flip. Oh, well, more than flip. That's a heck of an orbit to get to from here. Okay, oh, okay, we really need to tune down these reaction wheels. Make sure we're not aiming at our mission. Okay, that will be good enough. And we're not going in this direction, so our sending node here. Nope, not sending that as a target. That'll be a good start. Okay, so that's in an hour and a half. That's in an hour and a half. This little guy over here is in five and a half hours, so no rush there. And back to our ship. And we're just five minutes away from our plotted maneuver here. Okay, that was our plot. And we have, we always we need to set that as a target again. Um, let's see, let's get into its render range. Yeah, okay, and it'll only take 21 meters per second to do that. So that's five hours and 12 minutes. So this little probe is after that, actually. Yep. But before that, we have to take care of the other little probe. Or at least its first burn. So switch to that. Yeah, a Kerbal Alarm Clock equivalent might be helpful. <laughs> Look forward to that. And go. So this is just to correct our inclination so that we match the desired orbit. And since everything else is in five hours, I think uh, we'll be doing the periapsis correction with this next as well. Does that look about right? It looks about right to me. Honestly, that's probably good enough for the contract, so... Still seems like good comms. Hours okay. Okay, first contract fulfillment here. Okay, uh, is that good enough? Maintain stability for 10 seconds? Yes, it's good enough. It accepts that. Alright, so that one is done. Our next maneuver was with the main mission. 
and it's not actually a maneuver, it's uh, rendezvousing with the target. Can we add the part to that vessel in 12 minutes? That is the question. Okay, well, conveniently we're not too far away from the retrograde marker. Okay, there's that satellite. Now, I think that's where we'll park it. Okay, so, scientist, scientist, oh, engineer, EVA, please. Okay, and, let's see, why don't you put the, your, uh, I don't think you can carry the RCS, well, maybe, it's only 0.02 tons, all right. So yeah, just stow that. Oh, but the volume is too high. Okay. Now he's got EVA propellant, all right. It's the parachute that we ought to stow. I don't have engineering mode right now. Oh no, that that's it. Oh no, I can't grab that part. Uh, how are we gonna do this? I guess we're just gonna have to get closer. Then we don't have RCS on here, so it's real fun. Okay, EVA ship gun. Can you put that on there? Uh, yeah, uh, do that. Uh, block it, solar panels. There we go. <laughs> I'm sure they're all right with us blocking the solar panels. Yep, no problems. All right, we have done this servicing of a satellite and well, at least it's got solar panels elsewhere. All right, let's just push off for a sec here so that we're not going to be close to it. And that job is done. All right, let's take care of that other probe that we have been neglectful about. Okay, so we're five minutes late here with this one, but I don't think it's going to make too much of a difference because this is a slow part of the orbit. We'll have to do a few corrections with this. Oh, no, I accepted it. That's a horrible match for the orbit, <laughs> but it took it. It has a magnetometer, maintain stability for 10 seconds. Okay, yeah, they took it. Well... All right. Well, we can't use the magnetometer. We only have five units of electric charge. It's not going to be good. Look how far away Duna and I are. Anyway, so that's three missions fulfilled, and we still have to finish the construction of the rover and get science data and build the new surface outpost, right? So, yeah, three out of six that we are trying with this single launch. Oh, sorry, seven. There's a plant a flag on Ike. Wow, uh, one, two, three, four. <laughs> yeah, the seven missions that we're trying to do with this one thing. And so we'll have four more next time. All right, well, with that, I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.